かった喜びも負けた悔しさも次につながりもっと輝く私になれるはず FGO ワルツ・イン・ザ・ムーンライト・ロストルームフェイト・グランド・オーダーコラボイベント「輝けグレイル・ライブ」えっちゃんオンステージ Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. In between parts, I did end up getting yeah, yeah. another Ascension item, so we will use that here. And I got it right as soon as I was like done grinding, so I didn't use it. But now we can, so that we can listen to her hopefully sing another little song. It would be cute, and I would like that. So let's take a look here. Come on, play me a ditty, play Freebird. ありがとう嬉しいですいつかあの人にも追いつけるかな I, I, I don't know who you're talking about unless you're talking about like Jack Black we're doing like School of Rock that'd be cool bring that in they, I mean they won't but alright l well today is a special day because we gotta buff the heart Which means that we should get her as a permanent playable character. Surprisingly early. Normally, this is something that comes, like, at the end. So it's a bit strange to get it in part three. It's not a complaint. In fact, quite the opposite. I really appreciate it, but still, it's a bit strange. And that is how X won the concert battle against Infinite Queen. I'm gonna go back between Infinite and Infinity. I don't remember which it was, and acquired the right to enter the Grail concert. Mev and Kat then went on to join our team, and we formed the amazing new idol group, Axis. Oh, so I sort of said it right. Okay. I was thinking like Axis, like A C C E S S. I think I spelled that right.、Uh, but no, it's Axis. So it was with high spirits that Kalia Productions went on to their next challenge, the Grail concert's preliminary round. Mm hmm. And the winner is Axis! <laughs> Yaha! Axis wins! Well, of course. Dang, we're sweeping. Yeehaw, that was some fine performing by Axis. Congratulations, Axis! You just made it through the Grail Concert's prelims. I did it. Yay, V Sign. Throwing up the V's with the flying V. And just like that, they won a place in the final tournament. That was fast. It's worrying when they go through the tournament arc and you're pretty much there immediately. It's getting a little cramped running our operation out of X's apartment, so I think we should look into moving into a proper office now that we're in the finals. So interestingly, they had the Caldia break room come out、uh, this morning, and it was detailing Miss Crane's design. And some interesting ideas of. Melding east and west.、Um, the idea of the initial basis plan was they wanted to, and I quote, make her a cougar. Great, wonderful, nothing hinting at that one theory that I posited last time. Nothing even kind of some stuff that would you would almost say contradicts it. So it's a bit like, hmm, right? But I feel like they might be hiding it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, look, I found the perfect place a brand new high rise office building. Oh, wow, this place is gorgeous. It's also directly connected to a train station and has a drink bar, sweets bar, and a recording studio. Hotties of dark rounds. Are you crying tears of envy from beyond your graves? I see. I really am living the dream. I'm Miss Crane. This will cost,、uh, this is what it'll cost in QP every month if we move our operations here. You know what? I've changed my mind. <laughs> huh? Oof. The money problem. Oh? Okay. It's a bar. Your atelier is half bar, half. Clothing studio? Dang. Dang. Business and pleasure, am I right? From now on, we can use my atelier as Chaldea Productions' new office.、Hmm? You're a lot tighter with the purse strings than I thought. Oh, well, at least this room is nice enough. 
Thanks, Miss Crane. Please, make yourselves at home. Oh, just make sure you don't open the closet in the back. <laughs> so this is it. We're on our way to the finals. That's right. I just received a notice from management. Our first opponent will be the idol group Saint Mahatma Operatic. Oh? I can't believe we're going up against Maha... Maha... Mahaup. Mahaup. How do you say it otherwise? Right off the bat. What kind of group are they? Their theme is Fantastic Chivalric Romance, and their leader is Helena Blavatsky. Their other members include Jean Altera and Ushiwakamaru. It's quite a sight to see those three valiant knights vying for Princess Helena's affections, even as they serve her faithfully. So they're all romantic competitors? That sounds... amazing. Oh, Mash, it's not real. That's just their conceit. You know, it's a theme. It's all an act. I see. Oh, I had no idea. As for what their shows are like, I think the quickest way to learn to is to experience one for yourselves. I thought this sort of thing might happen, so I went ahead and got tickets to the next show. Now, come on, let's go scope out the cutie- I mean, competition. The cheers are deafening. It looks like the show's about to start. I'm starting to get really excited myself. I feel like we're in for something special. God, Ushi's costume is so good. Think back. Remember a time when the world was filled with all manner of fantastical things? Once there was a land far, far away, across a hundred oceans and thousand mountains, where the souls of all living things gathered. It's named the Holy Kingdom of Mahatma. Freaking what? A reality marble? Whoa, this fantasy world looks so real. Princess, Princess Helena, I, your loyal knight, Ushiwaka, come bearing a gift. The head of the evil dragon I just defeated. Thank you for your... Jeez, that outfit, ma'am. Bruh. You're letting it all out, huh? Thank you for your service, Lady Ushiwaka. But I cannot condone bringing such a grisly trophy into the palace. My apologies, she... My apologies, Lady Jean. I didn't realize a few splatters of dragon blood on my armor would be enough to frighten you. It seems you're still drunk on battle, Lady Ushiwaka. You conduct yourself in a manner unbefitting a knight of Mahatma. Oh, care to say that again, Lady Jean? Quiet, you two. <gasps> Lady Altera! Princess Helena is about to grace us with her presence. Come, let us sing her praises together. Welcome home, Ushiwaka, my knight. I commend your victory. Your latest accomplishment is so... Mahatma. Mahatma. Yes. Mahatma. Oh my god. Mahatma! No way, this song is... Yes. It's Princess Helena's number one hit. That's so Mahatma. So, they're starting big. I would expect no less from Mahaup. Mahatma! Go on, everyone, you two. Okay. Mahatma. To think that evil dragon was... Yo. Oh, this is Ushiwaka's song. This Ushiwaka song's really good. Think that evil dragon was no more than a harbinger of the disaster yet to come. Th oh, this song is so good. Because it's the least idol like, honestly. And the. I. I oh. If you want to drive me nuts, mix classical Japanese instrumentation with modern. Oh, it's so good! It's so good! Frick, I'm gonna. I can't even talk over this. The enemy army grows by the hour. It seems twilight has come for the world itself. Mixing Japanese with modern is just so good. Whatever else happens, Princess, you must escape with your life. I'll make a path for you, even if I must paint the trail with the enemy's blood. No, my faithful John. My place is here with my people. Then until that fateful day comes, Princess Helena, my place is here by your side. <laughs> Please don't die, Princess. Hang in there, Lady Jean. Yeah, fight, damn it. Don't let the force of darkness win. Listen, they're starting the next song. Come on, we need to wave our glow sticks like our lives depend on it. Listen to those Dynasty Warriors guitars. Please. 
please. I love it. It just, it's very Dynasty Warriors, but with lyrics. It's sung by Ushiwaka, whose singing voice I really like. It seems as where we shall make our last stand, Lady Altera. Indeed, Lady Ushiwaka. Then let us sing loud and clear. Though a thousand soldiers surround us, we shall not take a single step backward. Ushiwaka, best heroic spear ever! Lady All, I want to die upon your blade! I can't believe this! If I could just crash their show, my toe beans would take care of those stupid forces of darkness in no time! She doesn't understand it's fake. Now is the time for our hearts to become one! I can see Mahatma! Yo, perfectly timed. That was sick. That was entirely unintentional. Yeah, it was pretty good. I still got stars in my eyes. Me too. Their whole world was like a music box filled with sparkling jewels. All that aside, what 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 does Mahatma even mean? Oh, right, I wasn't sure about that either. Not bad, I guess. I think I picked up a new trick or two we can use in our shows. Just make up words. Just make it up. Uh, but what are they gonna do? That's playing it awfully cool considering how wildly you were waving those glow sticks earlier. Oh, that? Well, it's just a show of support for my fellow idols. I totally ship Hel Helene, though. They're the best. Helene, are you kidding? Oh my god, the puffy cheeks. Oh my god. Oh my god, the puffy cheeks. How could you not- how could you see the bond between Princess Helena and Lady Altera and not cry buckets? Are you nuts? Were you even watching the same show? Of course Princess Helena's heart belongs to Jean. Pipe down, lasses. Haven't you heard the expression, Joshi is best? <laughs> it's like, it's like when, uh, you know, you bring that friend over, that kind of weird friend over to play Mario Kart. It's like Mario Kart 64, your friend comes over and he's like, ah, you know, I'll pick Mario, I'll pick Toad. And that one weird friend, Joshi is best. You're like, who? It's like, Joshi, Joshi is best. But like, you mean, do you mean Yoshi? Joshi, Joshi is best, yes. It's like, okay, buddy, okay. And then he destroys us all. And we all are forced to admit that, yes, Joshi is best. Joshi? Seriously, now you're just being delusional. They barely even interacted today. Doesn't stop some people from making those ships. They were right there in the same scene! Are you trying to come between them, you little cat burglar? Now the idols are all arguing. Oh, but I ship Alushi all the way. Yep, that's Mahatma too. Mahatma, what ship's that? Oh no, you don't. You're not wrapping this all up in a bow by pretending to be all understanding. Who do you ship? Normally, I'd never let anyone stand the, stand the same idols as me, but I'm willing to make an exception for you. Wow, arrogant much. It's not like Mahalp belongs to you, you know. That's it! I can't take it anymore! This group is officially broken up! I'd make a joke about how, like, could you imagine them, like, you know, falling apart because of ship drama? But no! Shipping drama has literally made nations fall. By nations, I mean, like, nations on the internet, right? Like, not... Not real ones. But, uh... But still. It is, it is something. It is something. Huh? A breakup over shipping differences, huh? That might not be a bad reason for heroic spirits, as particular as us to go our separate ways. I used to think we were friends. Now we're all fighting over love. Oh, that sounds like the makings of a new song. Help us, Miss Crane! Ah! She's dead. It's okay, I'm back now. Everyone, please, just let's take it easy. Don't you see? The fact we're all arguing so passionately just goes to show how strong that group's relationships and storytelling sensibilities are. Their shows play out like musicals, sucking the whole audience into their world. Talk about appealing directly to fans. No wonder they're on top of the idol world, they're just too strong. Indeed. And the fact that our group is on the verge of a breakup after a single show of theirs is proof of how good they are. So what you need to do is you need to manufacture fake relationships between each other. You need to manipulate the audience into thinking you're in relationships to the point where they will dig for any scrap of it. I call this Operation Hololive. Ugh. Ouch. 
Now I feel lower than the Marinara Trench. Everyone's different, and that's okay. Well, that's the whole basis for society, so long as you're not in the United States of America. How could I have forgotten that? Um, everyone, I know we all have our preferences, but... I know, Mash, you're right. I got a little carried away. Uh, this is so frustrating. How can they be so good? Don't worry. Next time, we'll be the ones to win them over. Yeah, you're right, Master. Ensnaring the Mashes with our incredible charm is our thing. Okay. Okay. Apparently, there's some big news coming out of Japan for FGO in the Discord right now. They're freaking out. Because... Because a certain servant came out early. And that means that things are occurring. Oh boy. Anyways. Oh, are we just battling them right now? Sure. Works for me. Alright. Our first order of business is for this strategy meeting is to go over how Axis compares to St. Mahatma Operatic. Our singing and dancing is just as good as theirs, if not better. That much, I'm absolutely sure of. I agree. You're both truly exceptional performers. However, we also have to admit that Maha Ma Mahaop's performances leave a stronger impression on the audience. And it's all because of the way they immerse you in their world. Exactly. They excel at drawing their audience in by building a story and dancing around their and a story around their song and dance numbers. And that story isn't limited to the stage. They'll have other media bases covered as well, from fancy lore books to all kinds of merchandise. In fact, I've already reserved my copy of the next book in their series. So if we're going to beat them, does this mean we should incorporate story elements into our show too? No, we shouldn't copy their approach. Well said, Master. I couldn't agree more. It doesn't take a genius to know what will happen if someone who's barely fired an arrow before challenges a seasoned bowman to an archery duel. It's way better to hone your skills with your own weapon of choice than fight them with that instead. I see, that does make a lot of sense. Adding themes that weren't originally there just to chase the latest grand trend can easily ruin your group's core identity. I've seen it all too often. And let's remind ourselves, what are Axis's strengths? Our weapons of choice, as Mev put it. Personally, I believe the root of an idol's strength lies in hope, the wish she carries in her heart. So tell me, what is the wish that drove all of you to become idols? I want to rule the world with my beauty, of course. I'm going to shine so bright. Everyone will want me for their lover. I've always lived my life by dominating others, and I'm about to, not about to change for the entertainment world. You never fail to impress my beautiful math. That unwavering confidence is making me fall for you. You're drooling, Miss Crane. Goodness. That won't do. I really must be more careful. This cat's wish is simple. I just want to make every fan in the world as happy as a clam. That's why I pour my heart into singing sweet songs for them. The only question is, should it be a sweet like a parfait or a sundae? Decisions, decisions. How beautiful, how, what a pure and innocent wish, such warmth, such kind maternal instincts. M mama, 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 a piece, a piece, mama, a piece, a piece, mama, mama. And everyone's like, what the frick is going on? <laughs> Oh no, she's regressed. Ah, oh, there, there, you're totally cray cray, aren't you? Like, more like a, more than a berserker. You know? You're a bit weird. That's definitely the reaction. Idols, like I said, are going, <laughs> she's, she, she's going for the mommy uppies? Okay. Let's just leave her be for now. Your goals sound very different, but they align where it counts. You both really want to charm your fans. What about you, X? What's the wish that led you to become an idol? Me? Well... Huh. I'm not sure. Nothing really comes to mind. Like I told you before, I kind of started on a whim. Hmm? Come on, that can't be right. It's not like a friend signed you up for an audition without asking, did she? I wonder if that's going to be the case. Even if that were the case, you must have something driving you, or else you'd never have lasted this long. Yes, I guess so. But all the same... I'm sorry. My mind is all in a jumble. I think I need a little time to think. Then I should be able to come up with something. Probably. Poor thing. She looks really shaken up. Well, this is a surprise. I didn't think she'd have trouble answering that. I hope she's okay. My wish. What is my wish anyway? 
Really bothering you, huh? Yeah, it is. I don't even want... Okay, well, it's not that bad. But I definitely don't feel like myself. Master, do you have a minute? There's um something I'd like to talk to you about. Yeah, sure. I'll listen. Up until I ran into you and Mash, I was stuck at the bottom of the idol charts and going nowhere fast. And if an idol's strength comes from the wish driving her, that's no real surprise. I don't seem to have one. Like I told you before, I really just started doing this on a whim. Maybe, but that doesn't change the fact you wanted to be an idol. I was? Yeah, I was. Even though I couldn't make any money and no one listened when I sang. I even did my best to turn my thoughts into lyrics and set them to original melodies, despite knowing they were terrible. I wonder why I did all that. Do you like singing? Yeah, I do. At least I think so. Well, why's that? You're really pressing me today, aren't you, Master? Is that because you're my producer? Yeah, producers in these sorts of games only exist to ask questions and then get more idols. I guess the reason I like singing is because people listen to you? What kind of people? These days, it's our fans. But before, it was the person who used to sit next to me at karaoke. Oh. I might have just realized part of my motivation. I think it's because there's someone specific I want to hear my songs. Maybe. She and I have been separated for a while now due to extenuating circumstances, so I don't know what's going on with her now. But given what I do know about her, I bet she's out there getting into some fun space trouble somewhere. I sure hope she's not a 20-something office worker with massive boobs now. So you know, I'm trying to cheer her on. Though it's really just to make myself feel better, since I'm sure she can't hear me singing out here. She sounds like she's a good friend. I don't know if I'd go that far, but we were definitely more than acquaintances. I do always end up picturing her face whenever I sing, though. I'll never forget what she was like, either, even if I never see her again. Huh. Now I get it. I think my idle wish is for her to hear me sing. Sounds like the makings of a song to me. Ah, you want me to turn these feelings into lyrics? Why would you... Wait, you don't mean... I sure do. You want me to write the lyrics for Axis's new song and share these private feelings with the whole world? Well, even if I agreed, it's not up to me. We'll have to see what everyone else thinks, too. And they're standing outside the door, and they're like, Do it! Do it! Oh, that's so touching, X! I can feel the emotions behind every word! You want a friend of yours to hear you sing? Talk about trite, but such a common theme should resonate with the common masses. My intuition is telling me the song soon be one of Axis's most powerful weapons. Seriously? We're doing this? We're actually doing this, huh? Great job, Master. I knew I could count on Kalia Productions, producer. All right, now let's get to work on this new song. Alter, you write the lyrics. Cat, you write the music like usual. This cat's gonna bang on the keyboard like an ancient meme. So I got music notes on the brain going, Alter. Tell us more. Well, it's not really that big a deal, so... Not your call. Tell us what we want to know, and we'll decide if it's worth singing about or not. Now, come on, we need to lay this track down in the studio stat. Only your first group collaboration. This is great. Don't worry, I won't peek at your creative process. I, if there's someone I can trust to not peek, it's the Grateful Crane. If that is your real name. All right, folks, it's the moment you've been waiting for. The Grail Concert. I'm your host, Billy the Kid. And I'm your other host, Calamity Jane. Boy, you can really feel the energy in the air, can't you? Sure can, Jane. Everyone here is raring to see some magnificent idols. Well, that's right, Billy. This event is all about bringing the world's best idols together to see who comes out on top. Which idol will shine brightest for all time? I know I can't wait to find out. Now then, who do we have for today's matchup? First up, we got Saint Mahatma Operatic, known for their immersive storytelling. Woo! My help! We'll be going up against the rising new stars of the idol world, Axis, known as Infinite Queen before the addition of their latest member. Woo! Stick around to find out which here of these idol groups is quick enough on the draw to reach the next round. Look at this break room. It's even got some tea. And a little Keurig. This is it. I'm so glad we were able to finish the new song in time. Me too. Oh, wow, yeah. You're actually, like... You're actually going. Though I'm so burned out, my head is smoking. 
First I had to push myself like a Spartan to come up with lyrics and we had to rehearse the song as soon as I was done. I do things Connex style, not Spartan. That should make that Mev style. Whatever it is at work, the lyrics and music are the cat's pajamas. And I know cat's pajamas, woof. Even though I sleep nude. I didn't know you were such a good composer, Cat. I especially like how you used your paw prints for all the musical notes. It's the little things. Let's just say writing songs was the perfect way to get back at all those cats who thought they could literally walk all over me. You know the movie Cats Can't Dance? Well, I was supposed to be in it, but they removed me for my massive tits. I knew I was right to team up with you two. I never could have done this on my own. This is the joy of being in a group. It's the greatest advantage of forming an agency. It lets you and your group mates support one another and hope that tomorrow will be an even better than today. Yes, I see what you mean. Knock, knock. We thought we'd say hi to our opponents before the show. Oh, that's my hope in the flash. I mean, mm -hmm. thank you. That's very kind of you. We've heard all about your concerts and street performances, and we know you're a tough group. <laughs> We're a lot more than just tough. Wonderful. The better the opponent, the more valuable their head. The moral of St. Mahatma operatic stories is simple. All who oppose our kingdom shall be destroyed without mercy. Okay, that's enough. No more trash talk. Anyway, we hope you'll enjoy the story of Mahatma Kingdom today as much as you always do, Axis. Oh? You bet we will. Just as much as we always do, huh? Man, that's some serious charisma they're rocking. They walk in here and they riz all over us. I gotta wash the riz off me. There's riz all over the table. I almost forgot it was an idol myself and not just a spectator. It's time it'll be our turn to make them our fans. They'll sub to our only fans. I mean, the what? You're right, it's gonna be a tall order. But with this outfit and this new song, I'm sure I can do it. I think. Okay, everyone. Good luck out there. I'll be cheering you on backstage. So this is the stage for the Grail concert. Indeed it is, but it is not only a stage. It is the field where light and darkness shall do battle. Oh, and you're so sure you guys are on the light side, huh? Now I really want to bully you into submission. It's alright, Lady Mev. Let them be the light if they want. Oh, you don't mind being lumped in with the force of darkness, Lady Altar? Everyone knows the dark side is cooler. Plus, giving into the darkness makes you way stronger. Not just science, says the one with the Xehanort eyes. And it's true, as true for idols as it is for anyone else. So let's show the denizens of the Mahatma Kingdom how brightly our dark idol glow truly shines. Playing up the allur alluring femme fatale angle, huh? I like it. People of Mahatma! Soon thou shalt know that Jushi is the OTP, the one true pair, 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 pair. She just keeps going forever. Ah, these forces of darkness are dreadful indeed. It's all right, Princess Helena. Leave these interlopers to us. I will. Go forth, my beloved knights. Going up on stage and declaring a ship is canon. That would destroy the audience, and I love it. I'm gonna bring up you so that we can get this your song to play, right? Just, just, just to have you for a bit of fun, uh, and then we'll bring up you. So yeah, these ones are good here. You're actually terrible here, but it's fine. This is gonna, it's gonna be no easy anyways. I'm not too concerned. So we will, yeah, do this here. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna destroy him. Oh, right, but would it be playing their boss song instead? I bet you it is. We play the Mahatma song. No, it's playing, uh... The other one. It's Altera's song, I think? No, this is Ushi's. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna have to go through each of them, actually. Uh, so let's actually go with... I'm gonna do an attack up on you. We're gonna deal with you here. Thank you for switching targets. I love it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, so that sometimes is a... Sometimes is a... Uh, omelette, even in this costume. I've discovered that through grinding. 
All right, so let's go. One, two, and then three. All right. I what does she kick in that? Is it is it? I don't know what she kicks. I've seen that animation many times, and I don't actually know what she kicks. Yeah, this is Altera's song. The desert one. It's a nice stance, at least. Okay, so... I have a full combo with you. Oh, nice. Um, do we have one that's gather up? We don't, I don't think. Oh, you don't count as machine, I'm pretty sure. We can pop this. Small heal. She you know what? Let's go... Yeah, sure. Let's do a full combo here. <laughs> nice. Perfect indeed. We, we beat her before her song even started kicking off. We just, we hit the bridge too early. Alright, do some of this, get some stuff. Okay, you got your meter. Nice. Got your super. And the last one, Mahatma time. Never mind. Mahatma will come after. Forgot about that. We still have, we, we, you have four, right? This is a Jean song, which I don't even think I know. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's do... I don't think I've ever heard this. It's very, like, Fate Stay Night. Well, until that. Okay. Alright, I like it. Anyways. Play play Freebird win. Ooh, the game's not liking it. There's too much happening. Oh no, I have heard this now that I'm, I'm listening to the middle part. Also, did you just loop? You nearly looped. Dang. That's surprising. All right. Okay, so let's do... We each have a big combo with you. Not enough to get stuff, but... We are gonna go one, two, three. All these crits. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Alright. I was gonna say, I'm like, last one's, I forgot that there's four of them. Okay. Uh, oh, are we battling all of them at once? That'd be pretty dang neato, son. Meow ha! Well done. Well done indeed. Oh, this is terrible. My dear knights are falling left and right. Worry not, princess. We can still fight and we will not let your love be in vain. Our kingdom faces an unprecedented crisis, so it is only right that I join the battle myself. Princess Helena is joining the fray. Let us fight and sing in her honor. It is time to settle this, Axis. I agree. Sing at us with everything you've got, and we will do the same. This is it, Senpai. You've got this, Axis. Fans, wave your glow sticks. Let your cheers fill up the hall. Beat fast and true, my Alteractor. Alter reactor. Gotta say it right. Alright, so. Formation is restricted. Uh, so. Caster's at the end. 
And for caster, we do want rider. So yes, we want we want this team. This team will be the good one. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I mean, the, the cannon team here is the best choice, unironically. So yeah, let's do this. Plus, it's just cool. All right, come on, you can load. Oh, the music. Come on, game. Come on, you're trying. Oh my god, look at all these buffs. Knight of Swift Wind? That's not the Knight of the Wind. That's not Sonic the Hedgehog. What are you talking about? Come on. Alright. We'll beat her up. Oh, wow, wow, that's actually a lot. Oh, the drums, that's new. They're quite defensive, huh? Alright, yeah, they are quite defensive. Ooh, Mev got hurt. Alright, let's go. You know what? Yeah, let's use this turn here to do as much as we can. This will kill. I still don't know. Which, I'm, I was looking. What is she even hitting? Okay. We need Mev to survive because she'll be our best bet for the type matchup here. Okay, here she is. Offer of Okay, wow. Shouldn't have done that. Well, doesn't really matter because she would have done it anyways, right? Um, a little heal. Can we stop you? Okay, no. Okay, let's just do some of this for now. Good, we got the meter then to do your thing. She'll protect you at all costs. Charge gain. Uh oh. Okay, we need to actually get rid of you. Like, like badly, huh? Um, you know what? Let's go. Do that. Do this. Do this. Do this. Does this suck your meter? It doesn't. Uh, okay. Because it'd be very annoying if we don't if we don't deal with you right now. So you know what? Let's do. You are actually decently matched up. So you know what? Let's do this and this and this. Okay. Will I have to actually make a proper team and not just do the mean team? All right. We got the wow. We got the break on you. Oh, that's gonna break. It's gonna kill you. Nice. All right, the next turn, we use the super with Mev, and we win. Let's go, my knights. I was going to say, it's not going to revive them, is it? She's like, don't do that. Why would you do that? Oh, you're screwed. Rip to you. This is it. Billions of points of damage. And everyone's like, Sh can we do that on the stage? I think that's illegal. It's like, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Give eggs. They just give out eggs and then everyone's happy. We've received eggs. And the winner is Axis. Who's judging? Do we know? Okay, we won immediately, huh? Uh, the next song is a story, but uh, uh huh. We beat them before we even got to our new song. Probably had to do with uh, bringing a horse out and having sex with our opponents on the stage. It's such a power move that they're like, that's it, call it off, they won. It's okay, Elder, it's over. I'm not sure how, but we won. I see. I was so focused on performing, I didn't even notice. Still, a victory's a victory. And with three more members, we have enough fingers for six victory signs. Hooray. You're 
idol glow was just so bright, we could never hope to match up. He beat us fair and square. That was a beautiful song. Mm, now that things have come to this, I shall have to sacrifice my life so I may sing the ultimate... Now, now, my dear Lady Ushiwaka, we may have lost this battle, but we haven't lost the kingdom in our hearts. What do you mean? I mean the bonds we've forged as part of Saint Mahatma Operatic. That kingdom lies in our hearts, and I would never trade it for anything. One day we will come back to this world, to the stage where our fans await. So for now, let's give these lovely winners the praise they deserve. Very well, princess. Even in defeat, you're still damn charming. I have to admit, I'm impressed. You were wonderful, Axis. That new song of yours really- Oh, I guess we did play it. Thank you. I wrote the lyrics. You did? Wow, Axis, you've really got talent. I can't wait to hear what you come up with next. Don't worry, folks. We'll be putting it all on streaming services as soon as this concert's over. But only if you live in a certain territories. Otherwise, you have to go through another streaming service. Um, also, we only get like a fraction of the pay. So it'd be really nice if you could turn off ads, like your ad blockers. It'd be really helpful. Or just subscribe to uh, the premium service. It would do us a lot. Probably, probably more than buying the merchandise. We get even less than And just pulling her off the stage as she's explaining it to the people who really would never care. She's on point with those plugs, isn't she? Uh, we can perform on the same stage again one someday, whether in competition or collaboration. For I have no doubt you'll wow us with a new song and e even more beautiful than the one you sang today. I'd love that. Nice. No unlock for me. I don't want to lose you. That was so amazing, Axis. I could stand you until you die. No, I even after I die. X's beautiful message almost moved my hope uh, to tears. I also and I managed to get autographs from each of Mahaop's members too. Anyway, this means Axis is moving on to the second round, and we still have plenty of time to prepare. What's more, I've already come up with a new plan. Get ready for Crane's secret strategy. Okay. But like we This is where we apparently unlock her permanently, right? Yeah, again, strange, but I'll take it. You're wrong, but okay. That's not a class. Okay. Has officially joined your party. It's still so strange yet it's so early, but I'm not going to complain. But I think we will get that when we're done, so we'll read that when we get all of them. Downtown Shopping District and the Atelier. Stardusts have been added. Nice. All of them. And we got that. We got filming at the street corner. We got... Oh! Live by talking about dreams. Well, we'll get that. What is that, I wonder? Grab these. Have the costume. Don't have the servant. For one day, I'll have it later. Prove for Jean d'Arc. Yes, we do have this. Okay. Mahatma, we do have you. Okay. And the last one. Ushis. Wow, the game is really laggy today. I think there's just too many particle effects at once, huh? That or just sometimes, sometimes my, you know what? My computer, I unplugged it and it switched it to power saving mode. I just cranked this bad boy into high performance. Now we'll, now we'll see it hopefully run a bit better. Maybe. I think it works when you start up the game, not when you do it. All right, let's pop on prove. Again, it is different. It is, but it's, it's very mild, right? Like. I mean, for the for the top part, the bottom part is wildly different. 
but I like it still. I think the problem is it doesn't change her color scheme a lot. Okay. We got that. Yeah, the, I mean, that it is it's a nice one. The art's nice too, right? Prove. Actually, you can really tell the difference in the quality. Probably because there's so much detail that it looks kind of bad. Because it, it looks better zoomed in because there's just so much quality going on. The head doily's weird though. Can we agree? The head doily is a bit strange. Anyways, this one is like the best. This one is the best. I love this outfit. It's so good. Like I like, I already really like Ushiwaka quite a bit. The whole melty thing really opened my eyes a lot. But this outfit is like the best. Oh, it's so good. Uh, ある even just the name Psychedelic Wandering Tales is so good, right? It's such a good design. God, like, and, and it's interesting. Like, it makes her look taller. And it is because I think her shoes are slightly taller in this one. Right? Look, look, look at where the sword hands are, right? In fact, her proportions change a lot. Despite, I think, it using the same sort of, uh, like, bone structure, it changes a lot. God, it looks so good, though. And finally, costume unlockable. Oh, oh, I have more tickets. Dang, okay. That's fine. I'm Honestly, I think yours is just kind of super generic anyways. Uh, okay, well, before we do that, let's go, before we leave, rather, let's go live by talking about dreams. I'm gonna talk about the dream that I had where I was escaping from Syria with Saber. I told that dream multiple times, but I think about it all the time. She got captured. It's wild. Did you all get your drinks? I did. I have indeed. Right here. And then here's to our valiant effort in the first round of the Grail concert and to our lovely rivals, Axis. Okay, so this is... Oh, wait, to valiant effort? So, okay, this is afterwards. Cheers. Cheers! I can feel it making its way down to my stomach. The only thing that would have made it taste better would be if we had won. Don't beat yourself up thinking about what could have been, Lady Ushiwaka. Trust me on that. Oh, yes, you're right. My deepest apologies, Princess Helena. Don't worry. I absolutely understand how you feel. Still, all that aside, seeing you all here reminds me of something important. We haven't truly lost anything. We're still idols, and we still have Mahatma. Oh, excuse me, could I have a refill, please? You already finished your drink? Whoa, did you see her teeth? She had, like... She had, like, uh, the learning with manga teeth. Excuse me, Princess Helena Fair Knights? Yes. I'm sorry to bother you, but I just want to say I'm a loyal citizen of the Mahatma Kingdom. I was there for your Incredible Girl concert, too. It was the most touching thing I've ever seen. Oh, gosh, look at me. I'm a mess. I'm sorry. I just died. Oh. Lady Altera. It's all right. I hear you loud and clear. You needn't say anything anymore. <laughs> Thank you, my subject. Know that wherever you go, we will always be with you in spirit. Thank you so much for your support. We love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Am I the only one 
who's like looking at this and going, wow, how ridiculously deceptive is the idol industry? But then again, to the people, if they find joy in it, is that truth or not? Huh. Hmm. You're right, Princess Hel Helena. We haven't lost our fans' love either. You may be a woman of few words, Lady Altera, but when you do speak, you do know what to say. Her skin was hot to the touch. Her blood was boiling. Her words were the words of a true warrior. At least that's what I think. I think so too. Eyes as earnest as hers would never lie. Definitely, which is all the more reason to work on ma making Mahaop's next show better than ever. Is it Mahaop? Or is it Mahaop? Oop. They should have called it. Oop, o Opa Mahatma style. I would have screamed. Because it's that is such an ancient meme at this point that it is almost hilarious. If you really work at it, I know we can defeat Axis next time. You're so right. As you command, Princess. Although, what exactly should our next move be? Good point. We'll have to give it some serious discussion at the next Mahatma meeting. I want I, I want at the very end it to be revealed that Mahatma is like you know the theologist or whatever version of God, and John's like. Wait, what the frick? I was in a religion? Oh no, god, I'm sorry. Agreed, but for now, let's relax and cheer up by enjoying this delicious meal. Excuse me, we'd like to order more food, please. I never noticed her lips in this outfit. Jeez, they're glossy. Even yours, actually. They really glossed up both of your lips. Whereas, sorry, no gloss there. Um, <laughs> you already ate everything at the table, Lady Altera. Oh well, nothing more can be done. Can I get another refill too, please? All right, let's get this Mahatma meeting started. Today, we'll be discussing where to take Maha Ops next album. Oh, I have an idea. What if we were to collaborate with someone? That was quick, Lady Ushiwaka. Do you have someone in mind? I do. As the capable CEO of well-known company A1 said, yesterday's enemies, today's capital alliance. So I propose that our best option for a collaboration would be Axis. Plus, I would love to team up with them. That sounds great. I'm completely on board. We can talk to them after the Grail concert is over. Joining forces with a former rival is always a welcome development, one that is only made possible by virtue of this war being fought with song instead of violence. All right, I'll add that to our list of viable possibilities. However, there's still one problem we need to solve. Namely, what would the story, what would the story we make with Axis be about? Exactly. I know we can't decide on the whole thing ourselves. We need to put some ideas together to show them. Let's take X's charm, for example. Now, where do we think when we think of her? Hmm. Japanese sweets, glasses, space. Three words. Space Mahatma Kingdom. Oh yes, I've heard stories like that. They're called sci fi right? Science fiction. That would be quite the leap from our current romantic swords and sorcery motif. Well, Princess Lena already has a mysterious flying saucer that descends from space whenever she prays. That's just the Mahatma Kingdom's guardian deity. It's all fantasy, no science. Yes, Princess, as you say. Still, I do get your point, John. If we change too much too fast, our citizens might have trouble accepting it. We'll need to handle this very carefully, which means we'll bring in, need to bring in a seasoned expert. Did someone say seasoned expert? Who? Who goes there? Whoa! Okay. What are you... If you're going to ask, I would thank you to wait for an answer before coming after me with your sword. Oh, Lord Shakespeare. What brings you here, and how did you get through our extremely tight security? Our remedies oft in ourselves do lie which we ascribe to heaven. Above all, I heard calls for a seasoned expert. That is to say, calls for a writer. Ah, yes, a writer. That is what Mahaop truly needs now. I'll wrap him up and send him back where he came from. Don't worry. We don't have a box big enough for him. We'll make a way to make him fit, whatever it takes. Ah, to suffer the slings and arrows of your words, my dear. You haven't seen anything yet. Ah, fair Princess Helena, please give this world-class, uh, poor world-class author a chance. You're absurdly confident, aren't you? Not that that's anything new for you. Impressive author. Now I see what they mean when they talk about having a thick skin. Now, Jean, let's give him a chance. He is one of the greatest writers in history, after all. 
we should at least hear him out. Very well, princess, if you insist. But first, we should bring our visitor some tea. Nay, good lady, you need not trouble yourselves on my behalf. Is this tea taken? No? Don't mind if I do. Oh, yes, by all means, make yourself at home. Altera, could you come here for a moment? <laughs> We're gonna kill this guy. Understood. I'll make arrangement for tea at once. Delicious! This Mahatma Kingdom tea has a delightful fragrance. I'm glad to hear you like it, Shakespeare. Now tell us, why are you here? You are too kind, my ladies. My proposition is for you is a simple one. Hire me to write Mahaop stories and I shall make all manner of problems disappear. For example, to make your earlier sci-fi Mahaop idea work, you need merely separate it from your usual fantasy realm. If you present it to the audience as a story of a single night's dream, or a festival where all bets are off, the audience is sure to accept it without question. Alright, Midsummer Night's Dream, but is that a gosh dang carnival phantasm reference? Now I see. We can make it a side story. That sounds perfect. Do you have any other ideas you could share? Gladly! There. I think that should do it. That had a fair more massacres, coincidental encounters, and complex relationship entanglements than I was expecting. And a lot of incest. Oh, oh god, so much incest. True, but I can't deny that I'm intrigued by the incest. I mean, to see what happens next. This man certainly knows his craft. This is even better than I hoped. I'm back, Princess Helena. May I have a word, please? Got it. Thanks, Lady Altera. Okay, Shakespeare, there's just one problem. Yes? What might that be? Deadlines. Uh. When you say you'll have this script to us on Friday, you do know that doesn't mean Monday next week, right? <coughs> yes, of course. Great. Then I look forward to seeing you again once your work is done and you're all cleaned up. There you are, producer. Ah! What is this? What's going on? I was just looking into Sir, Sir Shakespeare there, and it seems he has un multiple unmet deadlines. It would be far too dangerous to entrust him with a new project. And he's the mysterious producer behind the super talented boy band troupe, The Globe. Mr. Worldwide! Darling! Now he has people chasing him down over his failure to meet his deadline for The Globe's latest music. Oh, The Globe is his theater. That's, yeah, right. The Globe's latest musical script. My apologies for the disturbance, ladies of the Saint Mahama, Ma, Mahatma Operatic. I can never get your names right. Now come with us, Producer Shakespeare. We need you to get back to work on our own show, now. Indeed. Sword Moo. We'll all be all but lost without your script, Swordmaster Musical. This is no time to be fantasizing about working on another project, Shakespeare. On that note, go ahead, Mahatma Knights. Yes, sir. Taking him away now, sir. Here goes nothing, sir. Ha! Ah, alas! I was truly looking forward to writing this Mahab story. It sounded like so much fun. Still, this fat boy is not about to give up. One of these days, you must do a collaboration with the Globe. And there I go. Ah, disappearing. Could you imagine a Shakespeare musical? Thank you, Sir Shakespeare. I can't wait for that day to come. I wonder when that's gonna be. I'm afraid Shakespeare is afflicted with CDS, Chronic Deadline Syndrome. Still, every job must come to an end someday. At least I hope so. So when this one ends, I hope you'll give him another chance. Ah, that meeting turned out to be much more of an ordeal than I expected. And all we got out of it was our idea to collaborate with Axis. Oh, that's alright. There's nothing wrong with having the occasional unproductive day. Personally, I've had a great deal of fun just talking about our story ideas. Me too. And if nothing else, this proves that our lovely dream world is so wonderful that even a great author has taken interest in it. Dream world. That's right, this is a dream. The entire Mahatma Kingdom is a fleeting dream. Yes, it's a beautiful, happy dream, but also fragile and so easy to wake from. And unlike boundless love, it's just an illusion we've all come up with. But as long as we truly believe in it, it will never disappear. And as long as we continue to demonstrate it exists in our hearts, our citizens are sure to follow us there. Yes, you're right. Even if the day should come when we need to leave the singularity, this beautiful dream kingdom we share in our hearts will remain a treasure we can cherish forever. Absolutely. 
Even once the final curtain is closed, Saint Mahatma Operatic's legend will never end. What a weird group. What an entirely random group. Like, super weird. That was worth it for the quartz, though, for sure. And the story. Oh! Oh, and the hat! Nice. Again, this does remove one critical up from an enemy and gain a C-star. Not bad. It's mostly you throw it on for to be cool, right? That's pretty much the main focus. Oh, we oh we can battle the globe now? I'm gonna battle the globe. Let's do this. Uh, let's see here. Do I have uh let's see. I mean it really does it really doesn't matter a ton. But you'll murder. You will destroy. So we're gonna bring on you. We'll have you, we'll have you. Yeah, yeah, this'll this'll be able to do it. No problems here. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's beat up the globe. I don't know if I'd call them a troop if it's two of them. I feel like troop has a has a an air of more more people, you know? But who knows? All right. I don't think your Ali's song is going to play, which is fine. Oh, right. There's three. I forgot about Rama. He just disappeared from my brain. Swordsmen are supposed to catch you off guard. H wow. Okay. All right. This is not great. We're going to need to kill you first, for sure. I love the instrumentation on this. Get as much meter as we can with you. Okay. Oof. Okay. Um, I can pop that next turn with you. Let's go, you know what, let's just go one, two, three. Right, because you have bad meter gain, I forgot about that. Ooh, baby. Okay. Oh, rip. Okay. Jean's here. Can we bind you? You're a servant, right? So we should be able to bind you. Good. So let's use this turn to do... Some of this. Okay, and big hit. Okay, and we got enough for your super to kill Rama next turn. Okay, so we're going to, once again, we're going to do this on you. Nice. We're going to pop this. We're going to go... Does this give you... Decrease the gauge and gain yours? Yep. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three. Okay. Let's do big damage, hopefully loop. That's a lot of damage. Mm, that was a big number. <laughs> that was big numbers. Heck yeah, baby. Yurali is way too good. Just in case, pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. We're going to go one, two... Three. If this doesn't just straight up kill you for the super male killing. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. How are you so strong? Probably because you're level 100. I just realized that. Level 100 NP5 all maxed. Yeah, pretty much. All right. That's just for for those there, but they're still they're still fun to do, right? All right. Well, we're gonna head back to the atelier next time. Oh, and we need a hundred. Oh, the point total is not a problem. I wasn't even thinking about that. We just have the time gate, uh, which leads to that. What's in the chest? Strange. Curious. Okay. 
all right guys yeah we'll see you next time for some more let's play fate grand order we will be uh doing some more of the event and yeah see you guys next time ciao